Hi, I'm Dean. Today we're going to be calibrating one of our CO2 analyzers. This analyzer is configured to measure H2S and CO2, but in this video we are going over the calibration of the CO2 portion only. Calibration is very simple. You will need one bottle of nitrogen and one bottle of CO2. First of all, we want to make sure that the correct CO2 standard has been entered into the controller. Today we'll be calibrating with 2.5%. You'll go to F5 and scroll down to CO2 standard. This analyzer is set up for 3%, so we want to change that, hit enter, then 2.5, and hit enter. Now we are ready to start calibration. We will use the nitrogen bottle first. Connect the nitrogen bottle to its respective port, which is the standard end. Press F5, and you'll scroll down to Cal CO2, and hit Enter. The display will show the current counts and the CO2 reading in percent. Press the red button on the front plate to start the calibration. Note the flow meter will drop to zero. Turn on your nitrogen bottle. Adjust your flow between 0.5 and 1. Where you set the flow meter is not critical. It is important for the analyzer to have a steady flow. Note, the arrows on the flow meter are for the settings to set H2S. You will notice that the counts are dropping and this could take approximately 3 minutes. This is the box with the current counts. Below is the box with the CO2 readings in percent. This box is where the zero counts are stored. This box is where the span counts are stored. As you can see, they are now stable, and you can hit the left arrow key, and you will note that the counts have now moved to the zero box. Turn off the nitrogen and connect the CO2 bottle to the same standard port in. Once you have the CO2 bottle connected, you can go ahead and turn it on and you will note that the counts now will start to climb. You will want to make sure that you adjust the flow meter between 0.5 and 1 also. This will take approximately 3 minutes to stabilize. Note the counts rising in the current count box. You will note that the counts have stabilized, so you will want to press the right arrow button. That will move the counts into your span box. And you'll note that the reading now on the CO2 is 2.5%. You will want to verify that by pressing F1, going to the main menu, and verify 2.5%. Now you can turn off your CO2 bottle and turn off the red button. That's how easy it is to calibrate one of our CO2 analyzers. 